2020 has been a year, <laughs> to say the least. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today I kind of just wanted to reflect on 2020 because boy is a lot of stuff happened this year. Uh, before we go into 2021, I'm sure most of us would just like to, you know, forget this year ever happened. Um, and I will be trying to do that myself, but before I do that, I wanted to go over it because while a lot of bad has happened, uh, you know, just in the world generally, um, personally, I've made some progress. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to try and keep the intro short because I expect this is going to be a fairly long video because I've got quite a lot to talk about. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk through 2020, talk about how I did with my goals, uh, what I achieved this year, which you know what the highlights were what I've learned because you know <laughs> and yeah I just kind of wanted to do an overview of the year there is also going to be an accompanying blog post to this video I usually write the blog post before I film the video so that I sort of have like a script uh, but I haven't done that yet so I apologize if this is slightly out of order <laughs> but yeah anyway let's just get into reviewing 2020 so, I thought I would start with talking about how I did with my goals. <laughs> if you weren't here at the start of the year, I will tell you what my goals were. I had five goals for this year. Read every day, build my portfolio, build and prep my business for launch in 2021, save money and be more active. <laughs> so, let's talk about how I did with those. I did not read every day. Um, for the last two, three years now, I have read every single day without fail. Uh, it's something I started year nine, year ten in secondary school because uh, it was the only thing that made me even remotely happy, basically. Um, and I just kind of wanted to continue doing that, but as we know this year has been unusual um, and so <laughs> all the extra time at home sort of sapped my motivation and then there was uh, sort of the fiasco that was the uh, newts, was it the newts or the owls, but the readathon because of, um, you know, she who must not be named screwing everything up. And honestly, like, I read A Court of Thorns and Roses, um, in like, what was it, July, August or something like that, and it broke me. <laughs> like, I actually can't even think about it without feeling like a deep pain in my soul. And like, it wasn't even that good, but it still broke me. So, it just kind of, it really screwed me over basically. And so from that, because I was doing quite well up until that point, uh, you know, there'd been a few weeks where I was a bit lax, but I think, you know, considering the fact that we were going through a global pandemic, um, I could excuse those couple of weeks. But after I read A Court for Thorns and Roses, I just, I did not read for like four months because I just couldn't comprehend <laughs> picking up a book when my soul had been shattered into a thousand tiny pieces. <laughs> Thankfully, I have now picked up reading again. Um, I'm rereading Harry Potter for what? I'm actually not sure if it's the third or the fourth reread of this year, because I know I started the year with a reread. I then reread re re it at least once at some point, and I may have reread it a second time, and now I'm on my fourth. I'm not sure. But basically, I've just read Harry Potter a lot this year. <laughs> but yeah, I'm on Goblet of Fire, basically. <laughs> So yeah, while I did not read every day, I still did a fair amount of reading. It hasn't been up to my usual standard, but I have been very busy this year with a lot of college work and a lot of other personal things. Um, and of course there was a global pandemic. So I think given the circumstances, I can sort of, I like, I think that's justified, you know? I am hoping to start reading every day again in 2021. Um, I mean, the pandemic is still very much alive and well here. Um, so I don't really know what 2021 has to bring, but I am gonna start trying to read every day again because it does make me happy. And why would I not do something that makes me happy, you know? <laughs> so my second goal was to build my portfolio. This is both for university, uh, cause I have now actually applied to university, but I was needing to build my portfolio for university um, and also just in general um, for the future when I'm trying to open a business and stuff. Um, this also did not go exactly to plan because of the pandemic. 
Um, obviously, like, I couldn't travel to London. We often, like, we went to London quite a few times in the years previously, uh, just because it's a great place to take photos, but obviously we could no longer do that. We can't go anywhere. We can't meet up with anyone, so I don't have any models. And it was just, it was a bit of a nightmare because it seemed for a long time, like, okay, you just can't do any portfolio stuff because, like, I wasn't allowed to leave my room, basically. So I haven't been able to build my portfolio in the way I had originally planned to. However, given the circumstances and what I've had to work with, I have still made some progress on that. So I think given the fact that we were and are still in the middle of a global pandemic, um, the amount of stuff, the amount of work I've managed to get done for my portfolio is still significant enough to say I've completed that goal. Um, as I said, I haven't got as much as I would have liked. Um, I was planning to do an awful lot this year, the big one being the road trip that was cancelled in, God, all the way back in March. <laughs> it seemed, that seems like eons ago. This year has just been so long. Um, so obviously I didn't manage to do that. That will still happen. We're still not sure when. We were originally just gonna reschedule it for the same time in 2021. But by the looks of it, we're still going to be in lockdown by then. So we don't know when the road trip's going to happen, but it will happen, I promise you. <laughs> so, you know, I haven't been able to build my portfolio in terms of portraits and the road trip and travelling and everything that we had planned for this year, because we planned to go to Wales on holiday as well, which also is not happening. <laughs> um, however, I did manage to do quite a few projects while in lockdown. The most notable one being the trash dresses. Uh, I spent like six months making those and I did manage to shoot them. Uh, the shoots still weren't ideal uh, because I still wasn't allowed to use the college. I had to use like my grandparents house, I had to use my sister as a model and it was all just a bit of a mess but I have still managed to build my portfolio in some significant ways and once some of the restrictions eased a bit I was able to go to the city again uh, to take some like self portraits and things so it hasn't been a total success but it was not a failure either. <laughs> so my third goal was to prep and build my business for 2021. Um, I have been planning and prepping this for about five years at this point because at the end of 2020 I am now 18 and I knew I was going to be turning 18 and a lot of the things I want to do I just had to wait to be 18 because I can't sign up to a lot of stock photography sites and stuff until you're 18 um, and a lot like just you have to be an adult basically to do stuff <laughs> and so I've been waiting to be 18 for a long time so I knew that turning 18 would be sort of the start of things um, which was basically 2021 because my birthday is right at the end of the year so there are still some things I can't do regarding that because I need to have like finished school basically um, so a lot of those will still be several years in the future but I have now started that that was a raging success I did loads of digital drawing this year um, I've uploaded a few uh, illustrations just to start me off on Redbubble. Uh, I will leave my sh shop link down below. Um, I've got, I'm going to launch some new designs on New Year's and they will be hopefully new ones every month. So that is definitely prepped and launched already and I'm very happy with that. Um, I've also uh, signed up to a few stock photography sites. That will just sort of be a work in progress. I don't really expect to make a lot of money on that. Um, but it'll just be something that'll give me like a couple of quid every now and then basically <laughs> and obviously as I build the amount of stock photograph photographs I have um, I will steadily get more money from it um, but yeah that is very much a work in progress because that was yet another thing that I was planning to build my portfolio on um, as I travelled everywhere and did lots of stuff it would have given me the opportunity to take a lot of stock worthy photographs but obviously since I was stuck in my room, <laughs> I could not do any of that. So I don't have nearly as many stock photos as I would like. Um, you know, I was planning to have like several hundred, but instead I have like 20. So that hasn't really gone to plan, but again, there was nothing I could do about that. And I accepted that months ago. <laughs> um, but I, I focused myself on digital drawing instead. And yeah, I just, I built, built and prepped stuff for my business launch in other ways so even though I don't have a huge backlog of stock photos um, that will come in time and I still very much achieved the other goals <laughs> that came with prepping my business. You will hear more about my business um, in the new year probably around like June July after I finished college 
um, but I am planning to, I'm, I'm using Redbubble at the moment just because it's easier. All I have to do is upload my design and they make and send the products for you. Um, so it's so much easier, but eventually I want to move to my own shop on my own website. I'll leave the link down below, photography.smilesadrage.co.uk. Um, I'm going to do like prints and stuff and I'm going to do my own, like I just want to do it myself eventually, but right now I don't have like the resources or the time <laughs> to do that. And yeah, as well as prints and stuff, there will eventually in the future uh, be like, I'll, I'll be offering shoots and stuff. So I'm not really sure exactly what kind of shoots I'll be doing at this point, um, but there, there will be more stuff. So just keep an eye on my blog um, and I'll update you as I have updates basically. <laughs> my fourth goal was to save money and I've done that. <laughs> There's nothing really more to say on that. I have saved quite a lot of money because I'm hoping to move out, uh, well, definitely by this time next year. Um, and I, I've done that. <laughs> Got plenty of money in the bank account. Um, so yeah, tick, move on. <laughs> My final goal was to be more active. <laughs> um, yeah, that hasn't happened. <laughs> to be fair, this mostly hasn't happened because of lockdown. I mean, like, I literally am not allowed to go anywhere. I had all these plans for this year and I was gonna because uh, when I was doing GCSEs I would routinely go over to Starbucks like literally every day uh, you know they knew me by name I'd just walk in the door and they'd start making it it was yeah I <laughs> had a bit of a problem but and obviously even though I was then drinking hot chocolate I was you know walking to and there you know to and from you know what I mean um, you know every day and then I'd usually just go for a walk as well um, but obviously since Starbucks was closed for like 70% of the year I couldn't do that so I just ended up sitting in my room doing nothing <laughs> so there was really no activity for me this year uh, I did buy a treadmill um, in I don't remember what month it was like August ish <laughs> um, I did I did start using that quite a lot uh, but towards the end of the year I've just been too busy and because I mean, when I move out, I'll be able to just have it set up all the time and I will use it a lot more. But right now it's actually leaning up against my door just outside my room, which means in order to bring it in my room, I have to move all the stuff that's in the dining room, pull the treadmill down, open both of these doors, which is like a bit of a rigmarole because it's not just like a door handle. You have to like, they're kind of like patio doors. You have to like unlock it at the bottom and the top. So it's a bit of a, a thing you got to pull all the way in you got to plug it in you got to shut the doors again then you've actually got to do the you know walking or running and then you got to do that in reverse to put it back so it's quite like it's, it's quite an operation to get it out uh, which is why I just I just haven't had the time or the energy in over the last couple of months to do it um, but yeah hopefully once I move out basically everything will fall into place and this is like I've been saying this for like five years and a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, just because, you know, like you hit a certain age doesn't mean everything's going to fall into place. And I'm like, it is though. <laughs> I promise you it is. And I know it is because like already I've been 18 for what, like two weeks, not even that. And everything is falling into place. Just like I said, it would. <laughs> I just have to wait to be old enough to do the things I need to do. So yeah, being more active did not work this year. Uh, one, because I still live at home and two, because of the pandemic. <laughs> Both things that I can't, they're not in my control. But hopefully by this time next year, I will have achieved that. So although it was definitely a fail failure this year, <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to achieve it in the latter half of next year. <laughs> so those were my goals and how I did with them. Some of them were a success, some of them were not so much. Um, a lot of them I managed to adapt to the situation. Um, some of them just couldn't really be adapted, but I'm still really proud of what I managed to do given the, you know, circumstances. Uh, I don't think anyone ever plans for a global pandemic, so <laughs> I'm pretty proud of the fact that I managed to rework most of them to fit the uh, extenuating circumstances. <laughs> Before we talk about everything I achieved and learnt this year, uh, I thought we'd take a bit of a break um, and do the highlight reel. Uh, this is the part where I'm going to have to search through all of my footage for the entire year to try and find the relevant footage for all the highlights, uh, which is going to be a pain in the ass for me, but hopefully it should be fun for you to watch. <laughs> so, despite the uh, unusual year we've had, <laughs> there were still a lot of highlights, so let's go over them. These are going to be in no particular order. 
Um, so yeah, let's just get going. <laughs> the first highlight was most definitely my 18th birthday. Fucking finally. <laughs> I have been waiting to be 18 for God knows how long. And honestly, it was so worth the wait because everything is now starting to fall into place. Um, and yeah, my 18th birthday was great. I got a lot of nice things and I had a great day. Charlie released his book with his friend May um, and honestly I'm just I'm so proud of them it's so cool that you know someone like one of my best friends has released a book and is making really big steps in their career and it was just so cool to hold a real book in your hands that someone you know has written and I can't wait for it to one day be my book that he's holding and like it was a grueling process and you know shooting them was not easy uh, given the given the circumstances um, but honestly it was so rewarding in the end seeing everything all my hard work finally coming together uh, and I think the results looked amazing <laughs>
first pair of dogs, which honestly made me unreasonably happy, but you know, they're a really nice pair of shoes and I really love them. <laughs> I've been wanting dogs for years, so to finally own a pair was just brilliant. <laughs> of my year but before I go I wanted to tell you about what I achieved which most of which I've already covered to some extent but I wanted to talk about it a bit more and also what I learned <laughs> because although there were a lot of good things that happened this year there were a lot of bad <laughs> like a lot a lot of bad um, and I did although they were you know terrible and they were felt worldwide <laughs> uh, I did learn a lot this year so I wanted to touch on that before I went so despite the country and the whole world being in lockdown for most of the year, uh, I did still achieve some things. They weren't, I didn't achieve the things I originally set out to achieve necessarily, but I, I still did achieve things even if they weren't what I expected to achieve this year. <laughs> As you know from the vlogs, I made and shot eight different trash dresses. It was such a long process and honestly half the time I really doubted myself. I kept looking up you know, all this trash on a mannequin, being like, like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> but honestly, when I see, when I saw the final result, I was just like, I was so happy I did it because they honestly look amazing. And I mean, I'd like to shoot some of them again in more ideal <laughs> circumstances, but given what I had, um, and I was just making dresses and entire outfits out of rubbish I found like literally right lying around my house and then I shot it in my grandparents' house using my little sister as a model. Um, like, I think they came out really great and I'm so proud that I managed to do all of that while basically locked in my room for half the year. I mentioned with the goals that while I wasn't allowed to go out to build my portfolio or, you know, do any of the things that I had originally planned, uh, being locked in my house did have some positives because you know, while I wasn't able to build my photography portfolio and my skills at the same time uh, as I'd planned, it did give me the opportunity to build my drawing skills. Drawing hasn't really been something I've done since GCSE, basically. I took art at GCSE and, I mean, before GCSE I drew a lot for fun, but once I took it at GCSE it was <laughs> kind of a mistake because it, it really sucked the fun out of it because uh, I really hated school um, and also I sort of stopped because because of my Tourette's it just it, it didn't work because you know if you you know if you because it's my right hand that ticks a lot um, and obviously I'm right-handed <laughs> um, you know if I tick while I'm drawing or something and I'm drawing in pen or paint then that's it there's no going back there's no undo button in real life uh, so it just got very frustrating having you know, something I can't help ruin all my hard work all the time. Uh, but I obviously bought an iPad Pro, which was <laughs> quite the knock to my bank account, but it has honestly been one of the best things I've ever purchased because it's allowed me to draw again, uh, because there is an undo button when you draw digitally. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if I tick because I can just hit undo and the damage is undone. It also means I don't have to go through the rigmarole of getting out all my art supplies every time I want to draw so my iPad has really just made drawing a lot more accessible and because of that and you know because I had nothing better to do while locked in my room I have really been able to build on my drawing skills which has then allowed me to start my red bubble shop a lot sooner than I might have been able to beforehand. My photography has not improved quite as much as I had originally planned for it to this year but it has still improved and I think it's improved in different ways because I really had to learn to think outside the box and try and find ways of doing things when you know you're basically stuck in your house the whole country's on lockdown you can't go and buy any supplies you need you can't work with other people you can't really like you can't get help from tutors or friends or anything you just have to make it work with what you've got. I also managed to finally beat Minecraft legitimately without cheating and I have a five star island on Animal Crossing. So, you know, <laughs> those were obviously very valuable <laughs> achievements. Um, again, weren't what I had planned for this year, but 
you know, we can't really go anywhere, so I may as well. And my island is very beautiful. <laughs> so, what have I learnt this year? <laughs> I think the biggest lesson I learnt this year was that shit doesn't go the way you planned it. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it. Which is a really hard lesson to learn, especially for me, someone with autism, who is very much a control freak. Everything has to work exactly how I planned it, or nothing's happening, basically. And, you know, I'd sort of accepted this beforehand, but this year really made me properly accept it and learn how to deal with it. Because, I mean, it really doesn't get much worse than a global pandemic alongside all the other shit that's happened this year. I really struggled at the beginning because, in some ways, it proved me right. Um, a lot of people who live with autism or anxiety or really anything that makes you panic um, will know that, you know, you kind of, you like, you plan everything for the worst case scenario and you spend hours every day, you know, what what's the worst that can happen and you think of all these extravagant things and everyone around you is always like, no, that's ridiculous, that's never going to happen, like, you know, you're more likely to get struck by lightning than that happening and things. And, you know, this year has been, like, literally everything that I, you know, all the radical things that I thought might happen. And everyone told me, no, that's so silly, don't be stupid. They, they happened this year. <laughs> so, in a way, I, I was proved right. <laughs> I was right. This year was an absolute train wreck and everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. <laughs> And that was really difficult to deal with because I'm like, well, how do I now go forward knowing that I was right <laughs> and the worst can happen and, you know, even like of all the things I've ever imagined happening, global pandemic wasn't even on the list. <laughs> like that was worse than I'd even ever imagined. And so it was really difficult to, you know, accept that this year is very much an outlier <laughs> and hopefully we won't have a repeat. You know, I spent a good couple of months, uh, March, April, um, just like not knowing what to do with myself because, you know, I wasn't allowed to go anywhere. Everything was closed. I wasn't allowed to leave my house, basically. Um, and then, of course, you know, I was like, well, what's the point of doing anything when I was right all along? Um, and the worst really can happen. But I eventually realised that that was not constructive. <laughs> And if I wasn't going to do anything with my life, then I may as well not live it. So I got off my ass basically, and learnt to accept that, you know, shit happens, basically. And you just have to take it in your stride and adjust as best you can. That's not to say it's now easy for me, um, because it definitely is. I don't think it'll ever be easy for me, um, as someone with autism and anxiety. Um, I really need you know, at least some things to be consistent, but I have at least come to terms with the fact that it's not the end of the world when someone changes the plan. <laughs> I've learnt to accept that things might change without, and, and still being able to enjoy things and go for things without, you know, not then doing anything because, oh well, if it's going to change then I can't do it. So, I, like I said, I don't think I will ever you know, I'll never like change and I don't think I'll ever stop learning how to deal with it but I think this year has taught me a lot and I've taken a lot of big steps towards accepting that shit happens basically and learning how to deal with it. Um, I've certainly progressed in it a lot further than I would have without the pandemic. <laughs> Another thing is that because I was obviously, you know, like the rest of the world, locked inside for months, um, it sort of, it was the first time ever really that I've had time off basically to just sit with no responsibilities because although I was still technically at college I wasn't really so I was just doing it at my own pace whenever I wanted and I was just in my room all the time and so it allowed me to really stop for a minute in a way that I have literally never been able to do because I've always been in school or it's just the summer holidays between school um, and so, you know, there's never really been any time that I haven't been in school or doing something else for me to just sit and exist. <laughs> um, and lockdown gave me that opportunity. 
and although it wasn't necessarily fun, uh, in fact it wasn't fun because it had nothing to do, <laughs> and as much as I love Harry Potter there's only so many times you can watch Harry Potter movies before you lose your mind, um, but it gave me the opportunity to get to know myself a bit more which is so fucking cheesy. Um, but I learned a lot more about my limits and how much I can do in a day, um, which I think will prove very useful in the future. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to try and wrap this up because I'm aware that this video is getting very, very long. Basically, in conclusion, uh, this year has not been the best year, um, even remotely, but it has taught me a lot and I have been able to adapt uh, much better than I ever thought I would be able to, which I'm very proud of. Um, and I have, I've just learnt a lot about myself and how to deal with things, uh, which is all great, but I mean, I still don't know how to use a washing machine. <laughs> and I'm, I mean, I'm 18 now, I'm an adult, and I don't know how to use a washing machine, so I've learnt a lot, but I've still got a long way to go, basically. <laughs> I have no, no idea what 2021 will bring. Um, I think we're all just hoping that it won't get worse. Um, not going to jinx it, but <laughs> hopefully it won't get worse. Um, I mean, I'm not sure how it can get worse, but you know. There will be a 2021 goals video and accompanying blog post coming in the next week or so. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. You can subscribe if you want to see that and also sign up to my blog uh, if you want to read it instead of watch it. And there will hopefully be lots of other content coming soon. Um, I'm not sure exactly what my upload schedule would be. I'm sticking to vlogs on Sunday, but I may switch some of the other things around. Uh, but yeah, I'm working towards there being two videos a week consistently, but we will see how that goes because I do have a lot of work to do. <laughs> but yeah, this video is getting very long now, so I'm going to say bye now. Um, like it if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, comment down below and tell me all about how your 2020 has been, what have you achieved this year, how did you do with your goals if you set any. Um, remember that it's okay to have achieved uh, nothing because I mean we're in we're still in the middle of a global pandemic so if you haven't achieved anything then that is completely fine and understandable <laughs> but if you have then please tell me about it um, and you know we can just complain about 2020 together in the comments so yeah please tell me how your 2020 was um, and yeah other than that I will see you in the next video <laughs>